on the 14th of December at 7 p.m. So I'd like to say hello to all people who are listening on the radio at that time. <laughs> I'm going to start off the second half here with um, a piece uh, I wrote about a famous pirate whose name was Henry Morgan. Now, Henry Morgan was born in Wales around about um, the middle of the 17th century, I believe. Hard sea mammal. Ah, oh, shut up. Jeez, it's so hard to get good sidemen these days. <laughs> anyway, he was born back there, you see, and, and, and the thing was that in Wales at the time, um, back in the 17th century there, it was rather hard times, you know. Taxes were up, employment was down, everything was looking a bit bleak, and he thought, well, what can a young man do? I'd better emigrate. So that time, the place where the jobs happened to be going was out on the Spanish Main or the Caribbean, you see, and he got himself a job there as what was called a privateer. This meant that he had a piece of paper from the King of England entitling him to sink as many Spanish ships as possible, England and Spain being at war at the time. Now, it proved that he had a tremendous knack for this job, you see. He would uh, just come around the side of a bluff there, out into the open sea there, loose off a couple of his brass cannon there into the side of some Spanish ship unexpectedly, and the whole thing would or start sinking down there and he'd swarm up over the gunnels there and be taking out the brass cannon, the cannonballs, the pieces of date, the uh, pieces of eight and the pieces of date. <laughs> the silk, the satin, the slave girls, the honey cakes, the rigging, everything he'd get his hands on, you see. And he was amassing this large fortune and storing it all away there on some secret island. And eventually, you know, everything was just going very, very well and he was getting richer and richer and richer until one terrible dark day when the war ended he found himself out of a job you know so the thing was he thought well what can i do and he's thinking to himself in his secret subconscious mind record a record a record a record a record finally the answer come to him in a flash <laughs> i'll become a privateer he thought i'll become a buccaneer then i can just sink everybody in sight and he proved very good at this, you see, because he didn't have to pay any commission to anybody. No, he was just taking all the honey gakes, the pieces of eight, the Spanish doubloons, the cannons, the slave girls, the rigging, the everything he could think. He was taking the whole ship apart and selling the, re the remakings to make the interiors of bars. <laughs> so finally he became so wealthy that he was able to retire and he bought himself the governorship of the island of Jamaica. This is true. And, of course, he retired there and died a very respected man. Now, this, of course, it's not unusual. I mean, people still do things like this in the 20th century, you know? But uh, the point is, is that I wrote this little tune. It's called The Boyhood of Henry Morgan. And we actually call it The Spurious Boyhood of Henry Morgan because it's about the way we imagine he would have liked his boyhood to have been. One, two... Thank you. 
Thank you. 